Lord help us. Jesus said, I no longer call you. Hmm? I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. But I call you friends. Amen. For everything that I have learned from my father. Amen. Everything that I have learned from my father. I have made it known to you. Oh, child, listen to that. Everything that he has learned from his father, he has made it known to you. I pray that everything he has learned from his father will be made manifest and known to us. Praise the name of the Lord so that we will be delivered from every manner of evil. We are living in evil times. My friend, we are living in evil times. I was watching a story earlier in two cocktails where this woman returned from Saudi Arabia and found her money had been eaten by her own mother and brother. And that's not just one of the stories. There are so many stories on YouTube, so many stories on social media where women are working so hard in Gulf countries. They come back home and they find that everything that they sweat for, everything that they work hard for they trusted their relatives they trusted their brothers they trusted the people that they hold very very close to the people that they rely on their blood their own blood and when they come home everything is eaten and gone and now they become beggars on social media. Eh, wanaanikwa huko tuwachangie. Mama ameenda pale Saudi, amefanya kazi, akafanya kazi, anatusiwa na Mwarabu. Hmm? Kazi anaamka 2 a.m. kusugua nyumba and just working with spoiled brats. You know some of their kids are spoiled. Hmm? They don't speak English. You have to run learn that Arab language so that you can be able to communicate with them and you're working so hard you invest so much and then you send it to the people that you think you know what my money is safe it is more safer with my mother than the bank and when you go back home all oh, the money is gone so those are the times that we are living in and it, it never used to be like that it never used to be like that i think as days are moving and as years are moving and as 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 you know time is moving you know there's so much evil so much evil the bible says that in the last days men will become so much crafty they will invent ways of doing evil and we are living in those days where people are inventing ways. They are inventing ways of evil. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, may the Lord help us. May the Lord help us. And we carry this word to 2023. Uh, Matthew. Is it Matthew? Not Matthew, but J John. John 15, verse 15. Amen. Jesus said, for those that are coming in, I no longer call you servants. You are not my servant. That is what Jesus is saying. Stop putting yourself down. Stop And I know that we say that we are servants of God in humility. I don't think we are saying that because we want to put ourselves down. It is because we don't want to be up here. We want to remain humble. Like in yes, when I say, you know what? I no longer call you servants. I don't see you as my servant, Weri Mukimani. I see you as not only my daughter, but I see you as my friend. Oh, we want to be friends with Jesus, guys. I want to be friends with Jesus so that he can reveal to me my enemies because he has he has better vision than I, I have. Sometimes we, we can only see so much. We can only see so much. What we are supposed to see, we don't see it. But if we walk with Jesus, he will see ahead of the enemy. He will remove every trap of the devil. Praise the name of the Lord. He will deliver us from failure. He will deliver us from sickness and disease. He will deliver us from the works of deliver us from the works of the wicked. He will deliver us from haters. Mm? He's gonna deliver us and fight for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, the weapons may be formed, but there is no weapon that is formed against us that will prevail. May we walk with Jesus as his friend. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Because servants don't know. They don't know the master's business. They don't know the master's business. 
But you know what? When we become friends with Jesus, amen, when we become friends with Jesus, whatever it is that he knows from his father, he will reveal it to us. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, what a wonderful scripture that will carry us forward to 2023. We are going there confident enough knowing that we are friends of Jesus. But you're not just a friend if you don't have a relationship with him. By the way, I'm about to go to Mwaka, who will go to 2023. Why are you so blessed? Why are you always happy? It is because I have friendship with God. I have a close intimacy with my father. I have given out my life to Jesus so that he can lead me. He can take care of me. He can, he can protect me. Praise the name of the Lord. You cannot just be a friend of Jesus. If you have not given your life to Jesus, if you are not saved, that is what, for lack of better words, get saved. End up with your kesha, yeah, yeah, 31st, and give your life. When that altar call is called, run forward. There is so much peace, so much joy, so much contentment, so much hope, so much, I don't even know how to describe this life of salvation. It's not as boring as people think. Oh, no. It's not as boring as people think. We are still human. We just have control of what we can do and what we cannot do. Praise the name of the Lord. And if you don't want to wait until the 31st, slide in my DM. I'll pray for you. I cannot see any comments. I don't know why I can't see any comments. Amen. Slide in my DM and I will usher you. I'm not going to charge you anything. It's free to become a friend of Jesus. We are just going to pray together and believe that the Lord has saved you and he will transform you and you're going to look for this nice church and go there and read, you know, study the word and grow in faith. Amen. Faith comes by, by hearing and hearing the word. You have to be in a church where you're taught the word and where you're going to hear it and understand it and have faith in this God. Praise the name of the Lord. So 